Good day, this is Ray. Today is Saturday, December 10th, 2022. For me, another day of social distancing. Hope that you, your family, friends, and loved ones are doing well, staying safe. And, um, you know, normally when I'm doing a vlog, a lot of times I really don't know what I'm going to talk about. It just kind of happens off the cuff. I go through a week and uh, deal with life like everybody else and you know just try to make it day to day uh this week i've been a little bit a little bit sick uh dealing with a lupus flare called in to get a medication on tuesday wednesday uh increased dosage of steroids <clears throat> dealing with some joint pain knees hurt um hands hurt mouth sores all that stuff and um you know, it's, it's something I've been dealing with over the years, uh, even, you know, prior to being diagnosed with lupus, of course, in 2019, but, you know, doing the best that I can. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about is really budgeting with purpose and sticking to it and not cheating yourself. You know, one of the things I learned quickly when I decided to go down the path of uh, becoming consumer debt free at first, and then ultimately to just you know be debt free, is that I can't cheat myself. I'm doing things that <clears throat> previously uh, I didn't do. You know, taking every dollar and giving it a purpose and assigning it to do what it's supposed to do, and it's easy to. I imagine it's easy to to want to just kind of cut corners and cheat when it comes to this because, you know, budgeting is a part of it. But, you know, understanding having an emergency fund and a reason for that, having your finances in order and knowing when the bills are due and not relying on credit cards to purchase things. And before buying anything, actually budgeting the money for that purchase and living within your budget, all those things play into it, paying down debt, all of that is all it's all part of it. It's a bigger picture than just budgeting. It's been huge for me. It's been a game changer. Yeah, uh before I started budgeting, I was really dealing with a health crisis and being in a hospital in and out and not really believing that I could get it together financially but I knew it was sort of a it was sort of a, a path that I was on so I didn't take my health seriously and then I was in the hospital I was basically on my deathbed had to have the highest percent oxygen pumped into me and aggressive treatments, transfusions, infusions, all of these things and very aggressive treatment. I was taking medications, uh, a lot more medications than I am taking right now. And, you know, just, just kind of, you know, pressed on. I was reading, you know, reading the Bible daily. I'm still doing that, but it, you know, everything just kind of seemed hopeless, but I, I didn't give up. You know, I was just, just saying, I just got to take it day to day, moment to moment. And, you know, just down that path. So when I talk about budgeting with purpose, I know that I don't want to go back to the way I was doing things and just randomly spending <clears throat> Feeling like I was never getting ahead, which was definitely the case. I wasn't getting ahead. I was just going to circles and tracking the money that I was spending and and not paying down debt effectively and not having an emergency fund. And I, I don't want to. I definitely don't want to go back to that way. So you know, I was looking back last year when I closed up my home. And how scary that was. And knowing I didn't have the money to be able to do it. Unfortunately, I had to do it. I had to purchase this home in a way that I wouldn't recommend anybody 
doing. You know, I had to dip into my 401k and take a tax hit uh, to be able to do this. Multiple taxes, you know, taking the money out before the age of 59 and a half and um, watching my 401k go down by $30,000. The cost of buying a home was about 18,000 closing costs and all that. Uh, all the other fees and then I, on top of that I had to get appliances. I had to get a refrigerator, washer and dryer, um, some minor repairs done. I got my place painted. Uh, I got a vanity for the master bed, master bathroom, uh, ceiling fan, some other um, other things, moving cost. But, you know, I budgeted for that. I was every single dollar. So it wasn't as intimidating as it it could have been if I didn't have the the foresight to be able to see what potential costs I was facing. And almost to the penny, I had everything that I needed, which is incredible. And so now, coming up on a year of when I closed my home and... I I moved in January 14th because I had to get everything ready before I moved in. Uh, It's been, it's been a journey and it's hard to believe that a year is already going by. I'm grateful. You know, I I learned how to budget from Brad at ZeroDebtCoast.com and I'm sticking to it. I'm not deviating from the plan. I hadn't gone backwards in my consumer debt pay down. Uh, As a matter of fact, I got my numbers in front of me this morning. When I started tracking my consumer debt February 2021, it was $97,520.57. And as of today, my consumer debt is $68,284.40. That's a difference of $29,236.17. So, and that's great, you know, but that's only a part of it. You know, paying down debt, that's fantastic. I'm grateful for that. But, you know, really, it's about knowing how to to handle my finances. I'm not a six-figure earner. So, I, you know, I really have to be strict about how I do that. Even if I was a six-figure earner, I would have to be just as strict as, <clears throat> as I am now. I'm not, you know, making that type of money, making a higher income. You know, there could be a lot of traps there, seeing all the different gadgets and stuff, the new TVs and, you know, maybe a better car, all that, all those extravagances and, you know, the temptations there. I'm I'm not looking to live that way. As a matter of fact, I'm, you know, working on becoming a minimalist and getting rid of a lot of things. I have gotten rid of a lot of things and not purchasing uh, things unless, I, you know, I know it's going to bring... Uh, value, which, you know, uh, isn't much, actually. A lot of things that uh, we have, and uh, speaking for myself, are, it's, a, it's just things. And then really bring value, value to my life. So I'm going to continue down this path and, you know, prayerfully uh, maintain decent health. You know, that's, that's the goal. Yeah, I'm just gr- grateful to wake up and have another chance. But anyway... If you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You don't want to post my next videos, and I will see you soon. You all take care.